Shalom, and you're now locked in here. It's like Talk TV, where you get nothing but the raw and the real whenever I'm in front of the camera. So make sure y'all show the page some love, like, subscribe, and share. Shalom and greetings, and welcome back to another episode here. Is like Talk TV, one of the number one platforms where you don't get any paid media. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, <clears throat> today, family, I'm going to be coming back to you all with a, another update in the is uh, the Israeli and the Hamas uh, showdown that's taking place over there in the promised land. Um, you guys see the title. That's right. Um, Benjamin Netanyahu has been forced to backtrack on the promises that he made at the um, beginning of this war where he was saying that they were going to go in, eradicate Hamas, wasn't no fuel, none of this stuff getting in. And now we see um, backtracking that's going on, right? And the media is not talking about this. They're just trying to smooth everything over with, oh, well, you know, which I mean, yeah, of course, there should be excitement whenever, um, you know, hostages and things like that are released on both ends, you know, because we, we of course, we know that there were people, hostages being held down in um, Gaza by Hamas. And they basically use these uh, hostages as a bargaining chip to get their people out of jail who uh the Israelis have illegally um, arrested and are, have been holding that jail for forever in a day. So we're going to be talking about that. Um, before we get into this, though, real quick, make sure you guys are subscribed to me on Rumble. The last video I did, I had to take it down because um, YouTube, they pretty much found me through their algorithms and things like that. Because I want you guys to understand that this channel right here is targeted, right? Um, yes, we do talk about a wide variety of things, but they know in the system, the people that's back there watching the cameras they know my work and they know that this is more than just a, you know, an entertainment channel where people can just come and get gospel. And that's just it. OK, so I, I want you guys to make sure that you guys subscribe to Rumble. I had to re-upload that video over there on Rumble. Um, and as we continue to run into problems with YouTube, I'm just going to uh, upload everything over there. And you guys can go over there and just check the videos out. You know, um, I know sometimes people do the, you know, the paid stuff where people can, you know, if you become a member, you can see all this and that to basically support the channel. But I mean, if you guys want to support, you guys can support. The information is down um, on the uh, running the bottom of the screen. You know, you guys can cash out us or go to uh, Is It Like Talk, um, our website, and you can just donate straight through there if you guys want to support us. But at any rate, I'm going to have the stuff over there on Rumble. That way you guys can just go over there and access it for free. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Also, make sure that you guys are sharing these videos and get these out to the people so they can stay up on what's going on. Because there's a lot of stuff that's going on within a blink of an eye. And if you're not paying attention, you're going to miss everything that's going on. Right. OK, so I've been sitting back watching. Right. OK, how there was talks about the negotiation of the hostages. Right. Now, the thing that's so crazy about this is that. Um, this same deal has been on the table before the beginning of of this invasion um before the israelis went down into gaza okay what the media is not saying is that the israelis are suffering a lot of big losses down there in gaza okay um hamas has destroyed a slew of tanks down there okay probably over 200 armored some armored vehicles it was being reported that they had so many tanks that's being destroyed down there or armored vehicles that they had to stop the sale on certain military equipment they were going to sell because they needed those uh, equipment because of the big losses that they're suffering so the media is saying oh well you know hamas needs to do this and that hamas is doing what they what, everything that they need to be doing they're doing it okay um they've been talking about this exchange because when you look at the when you look at each cause right the israeli cause and then the hamas cause the Hamas cause is basically saying, OK, you guys are still in settlements, OK, kicking people out of their cribs, still in their land, OK, building, you know, these settlements and stuff. And then they're locking people up, which I think is profound. Right. Because when we think about this. Right. And this is why we have to document this war and really dive deep into the things that's going on over here in this man made land known as Israel. OK. It's a man-made state that's not recognized by a lot of these uh, places in the Middle East because the people know, the leaders know who the real people of the book is. They know that these people are not the people of the book. So this is why they're not going for it. OK, they know that the real children of Israel are still in captivity, scattered throughout the globe, waiting for the release by the all Shaddai. OK, waiting on Yah to deliver us from all these places that he scattered us to just like he said he would in Tanakh right now 
Here's the thing that I think is uh, very interesting, right? When we go and we study Tanakh, right? We don't see anywhere in Tanakh where Yah told the people to create jails, okay? The only time we, we, we saw something similar to like a jail that we see in Tanakh is in a situation where you had the Israel, the, the Israelite woman that was married to the Egyptian. Remember the son blasphemed the name of Yahuwah. And so they put him in the war to find out what Yah would do. Would he just spare him because he was a child or whatever the case may be. But we know at the end of the day, the kid was uh, sent home. OK, we know that he was put to death and Yah has sent out a message to the people to help them to understand that this stuff that we that they use as bargain chips today. Oh, there was women that was kidnapped. There was children and things like that. Yah said nobody gets away, even a young child. This is how important it is for the parents to teach their children the laws and the commandments of the most high. And this was the, the message that he was sending, that if the parents cannot control them and get the children under uh, control, then if they violate my law, they're going to also be sent home and you're not going to be able to use this excuse. Oh, well, they were just children and this and that. Y'all don't care nothing about that. OK, grasp. Now, with that being said, there's nothing in Tanakh where Yah has has constituted through his laws and his commandments to build a prison and hold people in here on charges and run this stuff American style. OK. There's nothing in Tanakh like that. So what is really going on over here? These people want us to believe that they are the people of the book, but yet their government is not set up according to the laws and the commandments of what Yah uh, 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 instituted back when he created the nation of Israel. OK, now you're saying that you're the righteous remnant that's going back in the land. So why are you following Western practices? Why is not that land being governed according to Tanakh, according to the book of the law that Yah gave to Moses? Why is that land not governed um, by that? Why is not Judah controlling the government just as it just as Yah put down? This tells you that these people are we know that they're Europeans, okay? Without a shadow of a doubt, they're Europeans and they follow European traditions and customs. Okay, these people do not operate outside of the united states and this is a and i want you guys to pay attention to this right don't get lost in the sauce and i get it people are excited that the the, the hostages and stuff like that are coming home right but had the israelis not been you know locking people up illegally and and, and uh you know stealing land and things like that then we wouldn't have this issue but the problem the problem with what's going on is is that these jews these converts that's in the land today excuse me unless they get that entire land they're never gonna be viewed in the eyes of religion okay the the, the the religious organizations all throughout the globe that look at these people as the righteous remnant that was supposed to go back into this land until you guys get that entire land you're never going to be looked at as the legitimate people of that land and it's showing you that the united states cannot help them they can't help them they called and told them, and, and listen, family, this is what I want you to grasp. Benjamin Netanyahu talked all this big dog talk. We're going in here. There's no negotiating. We're not negotiating with terraces. And they turned around and they negotiated with terraces as they claim. And why? It's because they are the tenants. They do not operate independently outside of the united states they have to do whatever the united states and great britain tell them to do because that is their land they are the landlords they took that land in world world one the zionist regime that's in there didn't do that they paid the money to the military to the united states to take that land so they have to listen to the united states and great britain whatever it comes down to military operations because they're the ones that's got to defend them. They can't defend themselves on their own. They're not sitting here and praying to Yah and, 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 and praying on and, and, and hoping on Yah to deliver them from their enemies roundabout. They're defending on the United States. And the question is why? If these people are the people with a book, why are they not praying to Yah and allowing him to defend them from 
the nations that surrounded about them if he put them back in that land. Okay, this is what we got to understand. This dude, Benjamin Netanyahu, is a goofball, man. He talked all this big dog talk. We're going down into Gaza. We're going to destroy Hamas. We Now, all of a sudden, you backtracking. There's food. There's oil. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, fuel, um, supplies, aid, and all of this stuff that's going into Gaza. So this tells you that these Israelis over here are under, they are the, they, they are the puppets of Great Britain in the United States. They do whatever they tell them to do, and they have no choice. They can come before the people and talk all of this stuff, but at the end of the day, what are they going to do? They're going to backtrack. They're going to backtrack. They have no choice. They have already lost. And see, the, the, the problem with the Israeli army is that they're weak. If they would have went in there and tactically destroyed Hamas, people would not be complaining. But because they cannot get to Hamas, they're just killing innocent people and just dropping bombs. People are saying it's enough of this. Take y'all scary behind in there and tactically get rid of Hamas, but they cannot do it. See, the thing that, that see what you guys got to understand is that if you ever if you guys go look at the videos, right, that I've been showing you. And other stations have been showing you concerning the war of Hamas and, and, and uh, the Israelis. The reason why they want all of the people to move to like the southern side of Gaza is because when you ever look at the militants, the people that's firing the rockets, that's putting the the uh, the stuff on the tanks, that's uh, that's disarming them so that the uh, the, uh, the the, the anti-tank missiles can destroy the actual tanks. If you look at these people, they're not in military gear. They're in regular clothes like me and you. You know what I'm saying? So they don't know whenever they look at the people, if these people are Hamas or if they're just regular citizens. And this is what this is what was driving them crazy, because it's a hard battle to to to, to, to fight because you don't know if this somebody is innocent or, or or they're not. So they're just killing everybody. And this is how they and this is how they do it. They want to they want to shuffle the people and hey, y'all move down here. We're going to kill as many people as we can kill. And their whole thing is to depopulate the Palestinian people as much as possible until they can just get to, until they just out of there. So at the end of the day, fam, um, we're just going to sit back and watch and see there's 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 a four day pause, right? That that went into place yesterday, right? Where they had an exchange, a hostage exchange. And one of the things that I want our people to understand, this is what you have to grasp. If you don't get nothing else out of this message that I'm dropping today, right? Get this. Pay attention to how they do business in the Middle East, right? They're not saying, you know, y'all got our people over here locked up, right? Illegally, right? They're not saying, well, we're going to march for peace and try to get these people out here. Or we're going to go through the through that corrupt court system because they already know that the system is corrupt. They're not saying, you know what, we're just going to hire high paid lawyers and do this and that. No, you have our people over there. So we're going to take your people and we're going to hold your people until you let our people go. And if you look at the numbers, Hamas is supposed to release 50 uh, hostages in return for 150. So this is what they're saying. This is how they do business over there. And they're doing business like this. Y'all got our people over there locked up. We taking y'all people. And if you want your people back, you're going to let our people go. So this is what black America need to pay attention to, because too often. We just we yield to this system, they're not yielding to that system, or they're not even going through that system, they're bypassing that corrupt system. They're saying you got our people locked up illegally. We're going to take your people. And if you want your people back, you're going to let our people go. Ain't no we going through your court system because we know that the judges is corrupt. We know the whole entire system is corrupt. We're bypassing that. OK, they, they call this the cheat code. And this is what people got to understand. This is how they do business over there. OK, and them Europeans are dancing to the beat because they know why. Because if they don't get those people back as many as they can. And really, the Israelis, if you think about it, they don't even care nothing about the hostages, really. If it wasn't for and, and, and listen, this is why Hamas did what they did, where they took several people from different um nations in order to force the israelis so if it had just been the israelis they don't care about their own people they would have just got them out of there just as the report is bringing out on october 7th how they couldn't distinguish between hamas and their own people and they said that they killed a lot of their own people okay so this is coming out of this is coming out of out of modern day israel you know it was reported out of there that this is what happened okay so at the end of the day fam 
this whole system is corrupt over there. And we're going to just sit back and see what's going to happen because the Israelis are saying that once we get all the hostages out of there, we're going to continue to, to keep going. So it, it's something about this deal just doesn't seem right. Why would you do? Why would you agree to a four day pause? And then they're saying if everything go right, then they can keep exchanging um, hostages for more days and stuff like that. So if everything goes smooth, I don't see how they're going to keep continuing this war once they didn't had this ceasefire and Hamas is adhering to it. The Israelis is adding here to it and people are being exchanged. It doesn't seem like they're going to be able to go back down there. It's just going to be madness, you know? And what is the purpose of doing this, this hostage negotiation if they're just going to continue to keep fighting? So I, I don't think that that's going to be the case. Um, but as I was getting ready to come on live, um, there was some breaking news that was going on where they said that uh, the Northern Front is still continuing, where it looked like Hezbollah follow fire some missiles where they they were supposed to intercept those uh this morning so just as i was getting ready to come on and do this video um that was just breaking um you know through the uh through the airwaves and we're still yet to hear what's going on with the ship that the houthis hijacked and they have over 25 crew members so we don't know that if that's going to be more leverage applied on the israelis in order to stop the aggression we don't know but we do know that they have been kidnapped and there's going to be pressure on the Israelis to change their tactics and how they're going about this war. OK, um, they also dropped leaflets because there was people going back to the north and they said, no, I don't go back to the north. So these these people have agreed. And, and, and fam, I want you guys to pay attention. Don't get lost in the sauce. These people agreed to pull out their military vehicles and all of this other stuff out of northern Gaza, man. So. This is a big step from Benjamin Netanyahu talking about we're going in here to do this and do this. It just it's hard to to backtrack like that and then come back down there and then continue to execute where you left off at. So y'all let me know what y'all thoughts is on this, fam. Um, I don't want to be too long winded today on this. I just wanted to come and give you guys a quick update. I'm watching to see what's getting ready to happen um, next week after this this four day truce. Um, basically comes to an end where everybody kept their side of the agreement um, and people were being released. So we're we just going to have to wait to see how they're getting ready to play this. Um, but leave y'all thoughts um, down below on what y'all think uh, is getting ready to happen with this situation. I just feel like th it's not looking good for the Israelis designers regime on the entire on the entire, you know, on the entire level, you know, be because. It, 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 it didn't just go as they thought it would go where the United States is going to supply us and give us this and that. And everybody's going to be cool with that because this and that the world has turned against this Zionist regime. And they and see what it is, is people already know what the problem is down here. They know that this stuff did not start on October 7th. They know that it's been going on before this. And this is a result. This is the effect of the Palestinian people being oppressed throughout all of these years from settlement uh, settlements being stolen. Um, being locked up illegally and just the, the you know the, the the brutality that the Israeli military has been inflicting on these people and they're supposed to be the righteous remnant is what you guys got to understand and they're doing all this wickedness and all this corrupt there's no way in the world that these people could be the people of the book you shouldn't have to go through all of that Tanakh tells us that what you're supposed to love your neighbor that's Tanakh and everybody's supposed to be treated the same the foreigner is to follow the same law that the, the people. This is why the law of Yah is supreme. It surpasses every law that's in the world here in the United States. They create these laws on a fly in order to keep us in bondage. Whenever they want to do something, they create laws. Yah said, listen, these are the laws and this is what it is. There's no more adding to it and there's nothing taken, taken away from it. These are the laws that I gave you and everybody follow that. These people over here can continue to create laws in order to keep us in bondage because, oh, well, they're going to get ahead if they do this and that. All right, well, let's just create this law. They just create these laws on the fly and see the, the book of the law. There is no creating and adding to that. Yah gave us the law. This is what it is. And everybody in the land follow that. Even the people, even the, 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 the people they bought from Ethiopia, right? That they're supposed to be supposed to be the Jews and this and that, but they use them as their workers, as their slaves over there, right? They're not in a 50-50 equal uh with these with these people over there. 
They're beneath them in their eyes. They are their slaves. Okay. So the thing that you have to understand, why are they doing this when the law is clear that everybody's supposed to follow the same law and Judah's supposed to have a government, which Judah does not have the government over there because Judah is not even over there. Okay. So there's so many things that's wrong with this situation and we just got to continue to air this stuff out because the proof is in the pudding is showing you that these people are not the people of the book. Yah did not protect them on October 7th and he still haven't um, protected them. They went down their family and they invaded Gaza and within less than two or three weeks, they've lost over a hundreds of soldiers and they're not, they're not going to tell you the exact number, how many people they lost because they don't want to spook the herd. But the bottom line is not only did they get their tail kicked on October 7th, you had the, the Galani Brigade overran one of their elite, uh, their elite brigades got dusted by Hamas. And then they came down into Gaza and got dusted down in, 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 down in Gaza. And then they're talking about what well, Hamas need more. Now y'all need more time. Hamas saying bring it on. So y'all leave y'all thoughts down there, man. Y'all enjoy y'all Shabbat day. Be safe out there. And I'm signing off here on Is It Like Talk TV. Shalom.